Hello, everybody. We are back with part two of our thread up reboxing. I'm not going to do a backwards intro, so let's just get into this. And welcome back. If you're new to my channel, I'm Charles, and I run a Poshmark closet. Um, along with my wife Angelique. Um, it's called the Deegans because, as I say all the time, we're not very creative, including in my intros. So, last time we went through about half of the thread up box. Um, this was a this was a $60 box. I believe it contained 25 items, although it doesn't say on here. And my wife thinks it'll get us about $380 once it's all said and done. Um, and then she put an extra note here for me that, um, Oh, that that's five, that that's essentially making about five times, um, yeah, once you subtract the six, it's five times what we'd make, um, well, a little more than that, hmm. I'm not sure why she, um, I think she means with posh fees and everything, yeah. Because that, that's a little more than five, but once you subtract the cost of the box. Okay, this is not a math video. This is a reboxing, which is the opposite of an unboxing, where I take the stuff and I put it back in the box so it can go in our inventory. And we are going to look at this first piece. This first piece, um, probably the most unique piece in this whole um, lot, in this whole box, um, it is a... Um, let's see if I can show a D a de Siegel and um, it's not new with tags that's a thread up tag so that's not the original tag but look at this piece it is it's got kind of this fake bandana around the neck but it kind of has it's a little bit more more fabric so it kind of hangs down and gives gives kind of this illusion of wearing a bandana. It's got these, like, um, it's got this kind of net around the edge of the bandana, and if you, and it's really colorful, and I don't know, I just really um, like this piece, and it says, oh, that's, and then it just has the, uh, the brand on the back, too. Um, so it's a very unique piece. I think it'll do, I think it'll do really well, because some of these, some of these really nice, unique pieces, they, they they sell for asking price. No one no one wants to negotiate on those. They see those and they just fall in love and buy them. So definitely happy about that. Um, up next is a Cold Water Creek. Uh, no iron. Yep, no iron. Uh, this is a size extra small, and it is a uh, it's a shirt with a kind of a snake pattern. You can see, it got a lot of a. Uh, Got a lot of fuzz on it uh, from some of the other pieces, so I'll need to uh, I'll need to just make sure to uh, put the lint roller over it before we ship it out uh, when it sells. Uh, but it's got this uh, snake pattern on it, and it's yeah. Other than that, um, it's just a button button up shirt. But Coldwater Creek um, hasn't done particularly well for us, but it is a good brand, so I don't know why it doesn't do well for us. All right, up next we have a loft skirt, and like I've said with all the skirts in this um, in this box, they've all looked really good on our legs mannequin. Um, I'm our our legs mannequin is a she is a small. Um, this is a small, um, so the skirts just look really nice, um, just with the way her legs are positioned. And I mean, she doesn't bend or anything, so. The way the legs are positioned, it shows the skirt. It just it it's really it's really made our pictures look a lot nicer. Okay, up next we have a Bailey forty four, and this this is a, a extra small. Um, I don't want to say dress because it's not really a dress. It kind of has elastic at the bottom, but it kind of goes to just the I guess. It would go to about the thigh, but it doesn't flare out. I don't know if you just, I'm just going to call it a top. 
because that's kind of the generic term I can use. Um, and I don't know if it's showing up on the camera or not. It does, uh, there it is, kind of. It has this pattern um, all down it. It's, it's just black, but it has this textured pattern um, all down the front and back, and then on the sides it has kind of like uh, elastic, so it does have a little bit more stretch to it. Um, but that's that's a really nice piece. Um, it should eventually it should eventually sell. I don't think it'll be a super hot item, um, just because it's not one of the things that we normally sell a lot of. Um, okay, up next we have an MSK. I think MSK. I don't know. Um, I'm not familiar with the brand. Uh, this did look good on the mannequin just because that that narrow neck. Um, just fit right over the neck on our mannequin, so it, it actually turned out really well. Uh, but this, and this is a perfect piece to demonstrate um, why you want to get a mannequin. Um, this, if you tried to hang this, you're going to see just it, it all hanging straight down, and you're not going to see it kind of, you're not going to see it flare out. Um, so you really can't get a feel for this just on a hanger. So I'm glad we had a mannequin to shoot this one with. Um, otherwise, this probably would have ended up in a reshoot box for when we eventually did get a mannequin. Um, and then I'd have to talk about it in a different video. All right. Up next, we have a um, Terra and Sky uh, cami. Um, oh, whoops. Uh, and, yeah, it's just a black cami. Um, no flaws on um, the adjustable straps work. Um, so yeah, not really a whole lot to say about that. Um, camis, they, they do sell for us, but they tend to, they tend to be, we take an offer on them, um, and get what we get. All right. Up next, uh, I'm going to save this piece for last because I do have some I think, interesting ish to say about it. Uh, so now we'll look at um, another um, tank top. Uh, so this is a Steve, a sweet carry, and it is not a tank top. So <laughs> I was mistaken. Um, it's it's a long sleeve shirt, but it does have in the back. Um, it has one two pieces of kind of braided fabric going across um, the open back. So that's normally something you see on a lot of uh, that's something you see on a lot of tank tops. Um, so. I picked it up. I thought it was a tank top. I didn't see the sleeves, uh, but it's all plain black. Um, so <laughs> again, not really a whole lot to uh, go over. Um, up next, we have um, what probably my second favorite piece uh, from this lot. Uh, it is a Calvin Klein dress. Uh, this is a size four. So um, again, I'm not sure. Uh, how that works into the sizing chart, but it was very, it was um, pretty tough to get on and off the mannequin. So um, probably just, it's probably a small, um, if I were going to size it, uh, but it's a nice looking red dress. It does have, it has these um, kind of ridges, um, little folds on the, on the one side. Uh, so it is asymmetrical in that regard. And it does have the zipper on the back. The zipper doesn't go down. Uh, oh, no, no, no. The zipper does go down all the way. I just, um, yeah, the zipper does go down all the way. So, yeah, it wasn't so hard getting it onto the mannequin as much as it was getting that zipper zipped up on the mannequin. Um, that's the issue there. Okay. Yeah. Yeah, now I'm, oh, yeah, um, so it looks like I left, I probably didn't do all, probably didn't hit the halfway mark on the last box. So this video is going to be, a, on the last video, so this video is going to be a little bit longer because we do have a few more pieces to go through. Uh, next we have a Cesaro, and this is a denim jacket, or a, a denim vest, um, jean vest. It does have some distressing um, there, there, there. Uh, so intention, intentional distressing. Um, all the all the buttons were there. Um, all the pockets work. Um, and it does have 
doesn't have fake pockets or anything. And it really just... Now, I had... um. It's very, very, denim, denim vests are very 90s for me. I had a, I did have one when I was in the 90s um, as a child. Uh, not a denim vest, I had a denim jacket. And I wore it all the time. I thought it was the coolest thing in the world. And I had little buttons all over it. I was adorable. Okay, up next we have a Torrid. Uh, this is a size 16, and this is a dress um it does have uh, the button around the neck and um a little drawstring in the front uh so yeah and it's a floral pattern as dresses tend to be i think about like half the dresses we have are floral patterns and it did have um not that i really needed it but it did have this zipper on the side but i'm not really sure what that is for because it didn't seem to make the dress any harder, any easier or harder to get on. It didn't seem to help. Um, so, I'm not really sure why you'd have a zipper and a drawstring, but this dress does have it. Alright. Up next we have a pair of shorts. Um, these are J. Crew. Um, polka dotted shorts um, and these actually did end up on the I believe I shot these on the leg mannequin I know I can't remember um, but they they looked they looked really nice um, they do have they do have working pockets I know sometimes uh, these short shorts will just not have um, will not have pockets uh, but these do all right up next, we have another pair of shorts, and this one, um, this one was confusing. Uh, it is a Kahaski Old World Fashion, or oh, World Fashion, not Old World Fashion. Uh, these were a size eight, and they had this unique um, button system. So instead of having one button um, right above the fly, uh, they have. Um, two buttons on the sides and these kind of straps that go around and one of them has like comes out it, it it's just very it's very strange and I'm not sure what the um, not sure what the purpose of it is I guess it kind of gives the illusion of a belt without actually having a belt um, but other than that a standard pair of uh, khaki shorts so Alright, and now for the last item, um, and the item that I have something unique to say. Uh, this is a St. Topaz um, West. Uh, it's a medium, and really the only unique thing I had to say is that this piece reminded me a lot of um, Link's outfit at the beginning of Wind Waker. Uh, so... If you haven't played Wind Waker, um, which I don't think my audience is, um, a bunch of nerds like me, uh, it's a game for the GameCube, and um, it's kind of got an island theme. I didn't really care much for it, but um, at the beginning of the game, your your character has a blue shirt on that kind of reminded me of this. Um, I'll put a little picture of uh, put a little picture so you can see what I'm talking about. But that's um, yeah, that's. That's uh, what that piece reminded me of. All right, so that was that was our second half of our thread up box. Um, second half definitely better than the first. Um, lot um, liking some of that J Crew that we have. Um, liking some of the liking some of the dresses. Um, a lot of the liking a lot of the that unique um, shirt with the bandana really like that i think a lot of that second half stuff is what's going to be the big selling items in the box that's going to make us hit that uh that 380 mark all right so if you enjoyed this video be sure to like share subscribe and comment and all of that stuff is below you know how to use youtube i tell you to do it all the time and for the most part you guys are starting to do it um so um, yeah, so that's, I, maybe I don't need to remind you. Um, anyway, um, until next time, I've been Charles, and, uh,
please enjoy the credits for one last time. They're going away. All right, bye. All right, we're back after the credits, but we are not done unboxing yet because now we have some Chipotle to unbox. All right, let's see what is in this wonderful bag. So first, we have some chips. Um, probably be some dip for those later. Uh, oh, we got two bags of chips. Uh, that's um, interesting. I what? This is a, three bags of chips. Okay, I think uh, my wife might have, uh, might have screwed up uh, the order, or maybe she just really loves me. Um, up next, we have some uh, queso blanca uh, dip. This is this is new. I've not tried this, so we'll see how that does. And now we have one of my personal favorites. Well, Hmm, little, little leaked out there, but the guacamole, um, always a, always a necessity. And now we have some burritos. Okay, this one is labeled Charles Number One. Um, it, it's probably it's probably mine. Um, that would be a chicken burrito with uh, some salsas. Um, this one is labeled Charles number two. Uh, this would probably be my wife's, which is also chicken uh, with uh, extra chicken and sour cream. And last we have just a little something for the kiddos, a something, little something for admittedly going to be leftovers tomorrow. Uh, we have a quesadilla. Um, so. This appears to be a chicken quesadilla with some uh, cheese. And what do we have over here? We have some rice, beans, and some sour cream. So we get that. We give a little bit to Olivia, but most of it ends up, most of it ends up getting eaten the next day. All right. So that, um, that was the Chipotle boxing. Um, Thank you for getting me to 10 subscribers. I think I'm actually at 11 now, so just slightly late on this video. But um, if you enjoyed it, be sure to like, share, and subscribe. Um, and uh, click the video up here to watch more of these videos. All right, I'll see you.